Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the vlog. Look at the outfit I'm wearing. I'm sorry. I actually wore this jumper at the end of the last vlog because I've actually just finished it, my Positano vlog. And this is how I look on the top half. And then I have on a pair of grey joggers and Nike socks. I truly look terrible, but we're just going to have a day at home today because today I'm packing for Paris. I feel very prison in these stripes, actually. Tomorrow I go to Paris with my friends. As always, in true me style, I am so unorganized like my case is behind me here i've just unpacked it from positano and about to repack it for paris my whole dressing room is just pure chaos and then if i wasn't already under enough pressure i've just decided to vlog the whole thing because why not so i need four outfits i'm going friday saturday sunday and then i come home monday evening why is my camera so wonky i have ordered some new bits i was actually worried it wasn't going to arrive but this zara order just arrived i don't know if any of it's actually going to be any good i feel like we should try that on before i start putting any other outfits together by the way off topic but look how cute this bag is i got it from a place called olivia sales and she does really really cute bags i actually have a green one you guys might remember this one um that looks like this but i'm so obsessed with the gold one and how cute is it going to look with my um rene calvilla gold heels love that so i feel like one evening i want to wear my gold heels this bag and a black dress and i ordered a black dress from mango but it hasn't turned up yet it's meant to be being delivered today i have actually just had an email oh it's not from them should we start off first of all with daytime outfits because i feel like i kind of have an idea what i'm going to wear in the day and i pretty much have no idea what i'm going to wear in the evenings which is fantastic i painted my chest with foundation because i'm so pale right now i need to um fake tan and I don't want to try and cream clothes with all of this stuff on my chest because it's going to go all over the clothes. Do you know what I mean? Okay, first outfit. I think this is what I'm going to wear on Saturday. It's quite formal, can't lie, but I'm liking that. And I feel like it's definitely going to fit the occasion. But I feel like I need to add a belt to it. So I think I'm going to add my Hermes Kelly, which I've actually just tried on with another outfit, which I hated. Because this is all black, I think it kind of needs breaking up a little bit. By the way... When my tan is done, everything will just look so much better. So the jacket is Massimo Dutti. I have this in a size 10. I love it. It's kind of a tweed fabric. And then it's got these gold button details on it. And got these little pockets at the front as well. My um, vest is from Zara. Not really loving the vest though. The quality is so bad. I feel like I have another black vest, which I'm going to wear that instead. And then my trousers are from Bershka. For shoes, I am thinking... I am going to do my Chanel ballet flats. I haven't actually worn these much though, so I don't know how comfortable they're going to be. But I feel like I'm going to risk it. And I feel like, oh, I don't know, am I liking this outfit? I just need to put my hair down just to kind of see the overall look. I feel like once my hair's all blow dried and I have a fresh layer of tan on, I feel like this will actually look quite cute. And then for bag, I think I'm going to do my Chanel classic flat okay this next outfit is very similar to one that i showed you in a vlog not so long ago i've just switched out the jacket so the jacket is from zara it's one of their bomber jackets which i feel like everyone has but they're just so good i love them underneath i've got on a um little vest top from zara as well which is much better quality than that black one i had on my trousers are from reese this is a slightly so slightly different cream at like the jacket to the trousers but i feel like at the same time i can get away with it I don't know if this is too much cream, but I actually kind of like like how this all looks together. Then for my trainers, like my shoes, I'm thinking I'm just going to wear my Chloe cream ones just because they're going with the whole cream look. Now the issue I have with this outfit is if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I recently rehomed a few of my handbags. All of my cream ones, I have to say. Other than I've got a white Chanel, but it won't go with this outfit. So I don't actually own a cream bag at this moment in time. But I'm thinking in Paris, I want to buy the Cream Celine Triumph I'm going to show you. So you know this bag, which I have in black, they have now bought it out for spring, summer in cream. And I asked like a question on my Instagram the other day and I was like, is it stupid to buy the same bag twice, but like in different colours? And I thought everyone was going to say yes, but actually everyone said no. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd buy a Chanel Classic Flap in every single colour. I'd buy a Birkin in every single colour. So why not, if you like a bag, buy it in another colour? Because I love the cream version of this. I feel like right now it would go great in my wardrobe. So I'm thinking in Paris, if I can, I'm going to try and get hold of the cream version and then wear this outfit on Sunday with the cream trio. I feel like this outfit is definitely a lot of cream, but I personally love like a really monochrome look. And I don't know, I feel like this looks... 
this looks quite nice. You know what? I thought it was going to be a really nice thing for me to kind of do this with you guys and video myself sorting out all my outfits, but I just can't tell you how hot I am and how stressed I feel whilst doing this. Like, why can't I put together any outfits? I feel like I don't know what to wear and I kind of hate... There's not a single look I've put on right now that I actually like. I've kind of gone back to day one when I'm thinking I might switch up what I showed you earlier. Or maybe this could be another outfit. I don't really know. Um, but anyway, right now I've got on a pair of Levi's that are kind of like washed out black. I have on my Hermes Kelly belt. I have a Zara kind of, like it's like a knit t-shirt. Really nice quality. I then have on the Zara bomber in black. My Chanel um, classic flap. And then my shoes, I have on my um, ballet flats. I feel like this is a little bit more me. I feel like that other jacket from Massimo Duty. I do really like it, but I feel like it looks really kind of formal. And I feel like this is like, I feel like the jeans make this look a lot more casual and it, I just feel more myself in it, if that makes sense. Like I feel like I look a little bit cooler. I feel like it's given a little bit more trendy um, with a little bit of sort of traditional in there as well, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I still don't love it though. I really am not loving any of these outfits. I don't know what's going on. Okay, Monday's outfit. Same again. I'm not wearing these exact jeans. My jeans are in the wash. I'm going to wear some other ones. My jacket is a crop leather jacket from Juicy. Um, they're like an Instagram brand, which I feel like looks quite cool. Then I'm just going to wear a white t-shirt. Not this one. This one's really creased. I have a better quality one, which is also in the wash, which will be fine by tomorrow. Oh, look, my fly is completely undone. I'm going to wear my Chanel mini. And then I'm also going to wear my Chanel sunglasses, which I love. By the way, I wore these in Positano. They are so, so comfortable. Like, the most comfortable sunglasses I've ever had and worn. Love them. Um, I don't even know if it's going to be sunny, but I'm just, like, I feel like the sunglasses go with the vibe. Obviously, hair down. And then I've got on my Chanel trainers. I feel like this is just a really easy outfit, but I feel like it looks quite nice at the same time. So I think I'm going to wear this on Monday. I have given up for the moment to trying on outfits because honestly it was just stressing me out and I figured I have got all of this evening to try on outfits and right now I need to go to Zara and I need to go and go to Harrods as well and I've actually just been to go and collect a parcel and it's from my mum and it's so sweet it's actually made me a little bit emotional the note that's in there I don't, I don't know why I feel like I feel like when you get older everything makes you emotional Basically, my mum and dad bought me something other than the book, the comb, and the hairbands. <laughs> um, they didn't need to buy me anything. I've said multiple times I didn't want anything, but my mum has bought me something, and my dad, obviously. Um, and I want to show you because it's really lovely. So the card that made me emotional says, Happy birthday, lovely girl. Hope you like it. All I love, mum and dad. And they got me a Loewe brooch, which I've actually really, really wanted. I haven't even texted my mum yet. I need to text her and ask where she even got the idea from to get me this because I absolutely love it. It will look so lovely on jackets and things and I absolutely love Loewe as all you guys know. So yeah, it'd be so perfect on blazers and jackets and things like that. I love it, mum. Thank you so much. Hello, hello, hello. I have been to the shops. I have done everything, or we have done everything. Reese is with me as well. And um, I didn't vlog any of it just because we was in a mad rush and nearly ran someone over. Um, I just, I just didn't have time for it. But I went to two different Zara's. We've been to Selfridges. We have, where else have we been? JD Sport, random. Um, but yeah, got pretty much everything I think I needed. In my head, I want this pair of heels to go with an outfit, but I don't even know if the outfit looks good together yet. So part of me is thinking maybe I should wait until I get home and see if the outfit actually looks good rather than buying the heels and then like for no reason. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, gonna have some dinner because it is actually 7 p.m. Oh my goodness. And we've had juicy jerk, which one we're just about to eat it. Reese already had it, but yeah, delicious. You get this in Selfridges Food Hall. Is it Jamaican food? Yeah. Caribbean. <laughs> and it's so good. I don't even usually eat that much chicken. Well, neither of us do, but this is an exception because it's so nice. Mm. Good morning, everybody. My hair has gone so weird this morning. It's kind of frizzy and fluffy and just, it doesn't look great. But anyway, I left you yesterday because I can't lie, last night I was so stressed. I didn't go to bed till half one in the morning. I was packing my case, trying to sort outfits and 
I still don't really feel like I'm that organised, but this morning I am going to Paris and I was actually planning on just doing a pack with me vlog, but it's obviously gone wrong. Then I was going to scrap all the content last night and then I thought about it and I thought maybe I will vlog my Paris trip. I, In my head I wasn't going to do it because I just wanted to go and enjoy myself, but... I feel like I feel like I could vlog like bits of it. It might not be the entire trip, but I feel like, look, I'm going to take my vlog camera and I'm going to vlog as much as I can and as much as I want to. So, you're coming to Paris with me. That completely was not planned. Before we go, though, I wanted to show you guys something because I actually wanted to show you this in my Positano vlog, which I just want to say thank you so much for all of the birthday love and everything you've given me because you guys are always so lovely to me and I appreciate you all so much. But in that vlog, I wanted to show you what my boyfriend bought me and... I haven't actually pushed that vlog live yet. It goes live to, should go live tonight or should I put it live Sunday? I don't know. But I feel like some of you will have already noticed in the vlog what he got me, but I haven't properly shown you. So I'm gonna show you now quickly as I'm a little bit early for my train, which is um, a miracle with me because I'm never early for anything. But on the morning of my birthday, he passed me a box and the box was from Louis Vuitton. Sorry, I'm trying to put it back in its dust bag down here. And um, I opened it up. This isn't actually the dust bag it came in. The dust bag is being used for something else <laughs> in this Paris trip, but I'm just gonna pretend. Like, pretend this is an orange box, and then this is a Louis Vuitton dust bag. And I opened it up, and inside was the cutest bag I've ever seen in my life. So I believe this is the mini version of the Louis Vuitton No. Is that how you say it? The, I think it's called N-O-E. The bag itself, like the bigger version, has been around for years, but I believe the mini version is very, very new. He's so good with presents and he always knows exactly like what I'd like. And I honestly love it so much. i tell you something I want to get is, there's a pair of Hermes Orans that they do in a very similar colour to this. I think the colour is a taupe. And I really, I'm a very like matchy, matchy person as you guys know, and I really want to get those so I can wear this with those in the summer. Like, I love it. There's also a crossbody strap to it as well. I'll show you. So you can wear it crossbody as well as held in it, kind of like that. You can put it over your arm. You can't really see because the camera's in such a weird place, but honestly, I absolutely love it. And I was happy with that. Like, I thought that was it. Obviously, as why well, he booked the Positano trip. Like, he had gone above and beyond. And then he said, look inside. So I looked inside and inside was a black box. At this point, I was like, well, he's not down on one knee, so what's inside? So inside here is actually currently an empty black box, but I'm going to insert a video of them, like, close up, because I took a video on the day. But he got me the most stunning, beautiful diamond earrings I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, guys, I'm still not over them. Like, every single time I look in the mirror, I'm, like, just blown away by them you guys know how much i love jewelry and so to be bought these was just insane i'm so hot right now but he even designed the earrings i feel like mm, i was gonna take them out i don't really feel like i'm gonna i mean he designed them so they've got like a is it called a v set in so they kind of really sit in my ear they are just i can't get over them they are perfection they're so sparkly as well and genuinely best best gift ever 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 like i'm gonna keep them forever and i love them so much and i actually feel like i've been wearing my hair up more recently like in a low bun just to kind of show off my earrings anyway that is what my boyfriend got me for my birthday and i couldn't be more grateful and happy like he really outdid himself his birthday is actually next week and I feel like the pressure is on. Do you know what I mean? I've got to, I've got a lot to live up to, haven't I? We are starting early, guys. Look at that! It's the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> we have just arrived in our beautiful hotel room, guys. We the, the hotel. Sorry, it's it's not the best. But you know what? We're barely going to spend any time in the hotel, so we didn't spend a lot of money on it. Instead of that, we're going to spend a lot of money on stuff whilst we're here. Let me give you a quick tour of the room because it's just funny. This is oh the light's not great. This is the carpet, stunning blue. Really love that. Taking some inso for future home reference. Um, we have two beds because we're all going to stay together. Feels like old times when we were much younger. And we went on these sort of soft holidays. And then in here, the bathroom's actually really nice. Do you know what? It's actually really clean. It's it's clean. That's that's what I can say about it. It's really clean. Anyway, this is my outfit. It's really nothing special because it's only Nicole and I today, and we're just gonna nip to the shops. And I didn't really plan an outfit for today. So 
My cardigan is and other stories. My vest top is Zara. My jeans are H&M. I have my Chloe trainers on and I have my bag from um, Olivia Sales. The reason I'm wearing this bag is because hopefully I'm going to go and buy a bag today because I really want the Celine, the cream Celine bag. So I'm hoping I get hold of that because I feel like it will go this outfit. Cool. Nicole is just trying on the bag. Does look really nice. I wanted her to try it on so I could kind of see it on someone. Looks lovely. It's so cute. Look at this bag, guys. So cute. I'm obsessed. We have just arrived at where we're eating. I don't know if you guys can see or you can't see, but you can just about see the Eiffel Tower, but we're eating at Bambini. This is inside the restaurant. It looks very cool. And if you kind of pan out the window, can you see what's out there? How cool is that? Okay, our food has arrived. We've got a green bean salad, focaccia, burrata, arancini ball, and truffle pasta. Stunning. Dessert, we have got donuts with raspberry and chocolate sauce. Just what we needed. I know, Nicole's just spraying. Oh God, I'm gonna drop the lid. The perfume that, do you remember my nan sprayed in my, was it the last vlog or the one before? Anyway, good morning guys. The lighting in this room is just so bad. I'm in front of the window, but yeah, we've just got ready. I've just blow dried all my hair. I mm, don't really love my makeup today, but whatever. Anyway, I haven't actually told you guys about this because I thought this vlog was going to go up before I came to Paris and I didn't want to, I didn't want to tell you about it because I just felt like I just want to keep it to myself. I felt like only three people in the, well, four people know. Um, but today I have an appointment at Hermes. You guys are going to be just as excited as I am about this. I actually can't believe it. Um, it's currently 10 a.m. My appointment is 11. Nicole is coming with me. And that is the reason Nicole and I have come to Paris a whole day earlier than our friends. <laughs> because I got, I got um, given the appointment and we realised that our train wouldn't get in before the appointment. So I literally, we booked another night in the hotel. We, trained, we changed our train for this appointment because you guys know what it means. But, I mean, you're, not, you're never guaranteed anything. So there's no guarantee I'm going to get anything, but... There's a very, very, very strong possibility I am, and I have very, very, like, hopeful thoughts and whatever. So that's good. So anyway, that's why we're up, we're ready, we're dressed. The girls actually arrive, they get here at 11, and then we're going to meet them for lunch at L'Avenue. I'm going to, I want to show you my outfit, but the light and the mirror in here is so bad, so I'll probably show you my outfit, like, when we're out and about. Um, yeah. So, wish me luck, even though this is going to be, like, in completely different time to how you're looking at it. But yeah, give, wish me luck. Fingers and toes crossed. By the end of the day, I'm going to be a Birkin mum, which is, like, let's face it, for any big hand buyer, handbag buyer out there, this is like the pinnacle of handbag buying. You see my vlog camera basically has no battery. We're in a cafe, opposite the Hermes store. I can see people queuing outside. But my appointment's not till 11am, so we're going to sit here and we're going to go there at like quarter two to be kind of, well, maybe even 10 to. So we're not too early, but at the same time, we need to be on time. Um, yeah, so having a um, decaf coffee and then we'll be going in the store. Oh my goodness. Calming the nerves with a um, decaf coffee and a, well, that looks hideous. <laughs> <laughs> the grey tea and these look stunning look at this um croissant with um what is that nutella mm. guys just got back to the hotel room i don't know if everyone's gonna be in the background the girls have arrived we have just got back i didn't film any of the appointment because i was just in the moment but you're just not gonna get over it i'm gonna have to do like a whole unboxing but like seriously Today my life has been made. <laughs> this is the situation. We're gonna have the best unboxing ever when we get back. But for now, it's all going in my suitcase down here. Picture you. Yeah. Bye. Good morning, guys. I feel like 90% of the Paris vlog so far has been in this exact spot just here. I didn't vlog any of yesterday because we were just having a fabulous time. And I didn't actually take my vlog camera out for lunch. We went to L'Avenue. And start some photos if we did that. We went to Crazy Horse. It was good, but if you're going to come to Paris, I'd definitely do the Lido instead of Crazy Horse. Yeah, it was a good time, but wouldn't, wouldn't overly recommend. And then we went to, is it called Matignon? Matignon? Matignon last night, which was so fun. We loved it, so I'm going to try and lower you down a little bit. Um, we were all 
very drunk by then. Abby, do you want to tell everyone about no. your escapades? <laughs> Don't tell them. Uh, Genuinely. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was a good night, but Abby was always drunk. Well, we were all just really drunk, but anyway. Shannon and I did come home early, as always. And um, and we um, had an early night, so that was good. And then, we yeah, today we... out to party. Yeah, and Nicole and Abby both stayed out until the early hours okay. of the morning. They're going to think a lot about And then Abby came home and threw up on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I just turned my vlog camera on because I just want to unbox this with you guys. I got this on the first day. Are we ready? Dun, dun, dun. The colour is called limestone. So it's like, it's almost like a light beige. And then in some lights, maybe it's a little bit like whiter, a little bit creamer, but what I love about it is it's kind of like a really great neutral, which I think will go with so many different kind of cream kind of outfits, which as you can see today, I'm wearing an all cream look. So today is going to be her first day out. And because I already have the black one, like I know what I can fit in it. I know how I can kind of style it. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna try and vlog a little bit more today because as I say, I didn't vlog at all yesterday. Although I have mentioned it already, but guys, something happened yesterday, which you are just not gonna believe. It is the pinnacle of my handbag buying career. It just insane, I'm just not over it, it's actually crazy. But we're gonna do a big story time and unboxing when I get home from Paris and tell you all about it and show you what I got, where I feel like lots of you who, you know, been here for a while, you know exactly, well, you'll, you'll kind of, maybe not know exactly, you'll have a rough idea about what I got. Like, honestly, the best 30th birthday gift to myself I could have ever dreamt of. Anyway, this is the bag on. I mean, this room, I can't believe, I actually can't see how, if you can see how bad it is, but this room is so messy right now. Can't even tell you, like, it's such a mess. But that's what happens when four girls um, share a room on holiday. Well, four messy girls, anyway. How gorgeous is this place, guys? Look at this, the Eiffel Tower is absolutely tipping it down though, which is very unfortunate. But look how pretty everything is. Can't tell you how beautiful this restaurant is. It's so stunning. Like, look at it all. The decor is just amazing. This is our food. I have gone for a truffle pasta. And then Abby has got chicken and gnocchi. Chicken and gnocchi. Nicole's got tomato pasta. We're actually going to share. And then margarita pizza. Shannon's got cannelloni. Oh, no, you're good. And um, salad. How lovely does this look? Wow. Look how gorgeous the view is from this restaurant. <laughs> I'm now fluent, um, what am I, fluent French, oh my camera has no space, two seconds I'll be back. So we went for lunch at Gigi, Gigi and it was so lovely, such a lovely atmosphere, the, um, the food was great, the place was beautiful, like it was just honestly so lovely and then we left there and we've just been walking around. The weather hasn't been the best, but it's actually now really brightened up and it's lovely. And we're actually now just walking to uh, YSL and we're also I'm gonna choke. <coughs> and then we're going back to the hotel. Abby has left us. We are one man, man down. down. <laughs> because um, she, she had a heavy night, our girl. So yeah, she, she's gone back to the hotel, but she's gone back for a nap to kind of get herself in good stead for again. Yeah, <laughs> this evening. Look at the queue for YSL. This is the queue, guys, for, I don't know if you can see, I don't want to get anyone's heads in, faces in, sorry. But yeah, this is the queue. Hopefully it'll go down quickly. Good morning, everybody. Last night we went to a restaurant called Mamma Mia. I will insert Mama Mia. any um, videos I have. so good like it was such a good vibe yeah but it was it wasn't like quiet like there was obviously other people in there but not all the tables were full but we were saying like if the tables were full and you know like it was busier well it was a good vibe anyway but it would be probably amazing some nights um but apparently because it's bank holiday paris is not as busy as it usually is so yeah there wasn't as many people there but 
it was good. If you're coming to mm. Paris and you want a good night out, like a party good, vibe. Yeah, it's kind of it kind of reminded us of like Bagatelle in London, like that sort of thing. All the waiters get up and it's dancing, like dancing, singing, getting yeah. everyone. Everyone's literally up dancing. Yeah, and the food was really. I, well, yeah, I thought really my nice food was really nice. Yeah. Like I really enjoyed it. So yeah, definitely recommend there. We've actually been to some really good places on this trip. To be the truffle fair. pizza there. Yeah, so nice. so good. So, uh, so Arancini. Nice. Yeah. What else was good? Did you like your pasta? The ravioli, oh, there was some Yeah, it was nice, it? but just not enough. But yeah. overall, definitely if you go, get the, um, what was, the, the truffle, truffle pasta pizza. and pasta. Yeah. There's so much truffle. Um, anyway, we're now at um, Cafe de Flore, which is very famous for its hot chocolates. Didn't think we'd get a table, but we're outside and we're all good. Um, the girls, we're actually waiting for them. We left because they came home a little bit later than us last night. And we got up earlier and got ourselves out this morning. And we actually go home today, so we're trying to make the most of our last day. So, hopefully we get something to eat pretty soon. Yeah. Well, look how cute our coffees are. I always say the word cute and it's so annoying. Oh, I need to lovely. use a different description word. But anyway, look, beauty, so sweet. Yeah, I say gorgeous, beautiful, <laughs> stunning. Is Freya just enjoying her breakfast at Cafe de Flor. She has a hot chocolate. We've gone for soft boiled eggs mm. at Le Baguette. Wow. Nicole, do you want to be in it? So nice. Nicole is enjoying the same and Shan has got a croc monsieur and she doesn't wish to be on video she had a heavy night <laughs> i have actually just finished well nearly finished editing this paris vlog i'm actually still in the hotel lobby i'm hoping you can hear me because it's got quite loud music on in here um, i'm in the hotel lobby i've been here on my own for the last two hours <laughs> because i'm basically babysitting the things that i purchased which is so sad i know but there was nowhere safe for us to leave our stuff and it was either like I could walk around with my suitcase but it just seemed like a lot of hassle and I also had so much work to do and I just thought you know I'm just gonna sit in the lobby I'm gonna do my work and I'm gonna like you know stay with all of my stuff and I kind of feel a bit sad about it because my friends have just they've all just been to the Louvre I've had like a cute day out they put padlocks on the bridge and I've only not been with them for two hours like it hasn't it's not like I missed out on the entire day we went to Cafe de Flori this morning which was nice by the way but it wasn't anything special um, but yeah, I just feel a bit like that's a bit rubbish. But do you know what? I've got all of my work done. I've practically finished and edited this vlog, which is great because honestly, vlogs take me so long to edit. But I just put my head down and I did it. Through this vlog, it's made me realise like you barely even see my friends, but none of my friends that I'm with except for Abby. Abby does a little bit of social media, but the other girls don't. And truthfully, like they don't want to be on vlog. So I'm kind of sad about it because I wish you could kind of meet my friends more. But I also understand why they don't want to put their faces online and stuff. Like I feel like it's quite like a scary thing to do, isn't it? And a lot of people don't like have the confidence and stuff. And that's not what they choose to do. So I kind of wish we'd like, I'd sort of shown you more with them, but I feel like it was quite a fun vlog anyway. I'm gonna try and like put some location stamps on places we went to kind of give you any recommendations if you're coming to Paris anytime soon. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. My next video is going to be possibly the best unboxing I'm ever going to do. Well, not ever gonna do, but I've ever done so far. I am so excited to just like sit down and talk to you all and show you what I got. Um, as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. And if you've got this far, I love you more than anything. And I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Lots of love, take care, and I will see you there. Love ya, bye.